Welcome! In this tutorial we are going to add embedded video to our Wagtail site. In order to do that we have to go to our models where we have a stream field. Um, the stream field is a very flexible field with a number of blocks which you can actually decide ourselves. And in this case we already have two blocks in previous tutorials, paragraph and image. And what we're going to do is to add video to that. So there we have it, video inline video block which doesn't exist yet so we're going to make that ourselves but before we do that we have to import that so we import it here from blocks.py so let's go over to blocks.py and make that inline video block it's going to be very similar to the inline image block that we've made in previous tutorials so let's add that and here we have it uh, it has a video which is an embed block and that's something that Wagtail is providing for us, so we can just use this as a building block. And then we have a caption, which is a standard character block, and a float parameter, which gives us the possibility to position the video on the right, on the left, or in the middle. And same for size, we can have a small, a medium, or a large video. And then we have an icon, which is media, which is called media, and which is suitable for a video. Now let's see how we can display this in our templates. Let's get over, go over to the article page. And then we see that we, for the body, we have the streamfill.html template. So let's use that. And there we have already two types of blocks, which is one, of the one is the image one and the other is the paragraph or other in this case. So a paragraph is going to be displayed by this portion of the code. And we'd like to have the video as an extra option there because that will allow us to give some separate styling to it. So let's do that. There we have the code. We have the block type video with a class which allows us to have the float parameter and the size parameter in there. And then we display the block using the standard include block uh, template tag from Wagtail. And then we have the caption. Now let's see how these classes look, li looks li look like. Let's go over to our CSS file, which is in static CSS CSS. And then we're going to add some settings for our videos. For the video on the right, it's a very simple setting. Float to the right with a margin and a font, which you're going to use. Same thing for videos on the left. And for the center, we use margin auto, which will position the video in the middle of the container that it contains. And this is somewhat different from how we do it from images, but this works for videos. And because of the nature of the image tag of, Wag of uh, Wagtail, we had to do this a bit different. Then some more settings for the sizes. We have a small, a medium, and a large video with 240, 480, and 2400 pixels. Now we want to make our video responsive and then there is a specific setting for that. If you look in the Wagtail documentation, there is the section responsive embeds. And for that you have to use a setting, um, Wagtail embeds responsive equals true. So we have to put that in our settings.py file, in our case settings slash base.py. So let's go over there, settings, paste.py at the end and add this setting uh, with a link to the description. In addition to that, we have to have some settings for uh, in our CSS file as well, which position the image in such a way that it will be nicely responsive. So let's take these settings, go to our CSS file and add all this. That's just a literal copy of what, uh, what was here. Now, it's time to try this out. Now, to make sure that the changes in the model um, are actually taken in, into account in the database, let's migrate. Not sure it's necessary. Oh, apparently we've forgotten to import a bad block. Let's go back to our models and to blocks.py and indeed we didn't import them so let's do that go back and try again 
that's much better and then migrate and we're ready to run the server okay go over to our page reload this now you see that since last time I've completed the work that we've done in the last tutorial by adding the images and adding the text and even adding some translations. There is a French translation here um, with the French pages as well and a Dutch translation over there. But let's go to the English homepage and then to our admin because we would like to add a video. Now going to pages, this is the main page and then here we have the two article pages so let's dive in there and then we see that we have a body block and we would like to have a video just above the text so there we see that we have the three options which are in our stream field paragraph image and video so let's choose for the video and let's copy a link from a video that we want to use and paste it in here then let's not do a caption but we want to position this into the center and we would like to have a medium size that should do it publish this and let's head right over to our home page and go to this and there we have our video now let's try if it's nicely responsive and yes you can see that if we make the screen smaller then the video will shrink with the screen so this is all working that the way it's supposed to to work let's upload another one and this time we will use a dutch page because if you have several languages then you have to add this to every language so let's use the video here do a second video here is the link and then add the link here I have a caption let's um, float this to the right and let's make it small for this time it's not going to be very nice but we'll, we can change that later on anyway publish it and then go over to our Dutch site and then uh, I think it was this one yes and then we have the video on the right hopefully this gave you a good idea what we can do with embedded video in Wagtail and I hope to see you next time